Hi guys, how y'all doing today? This is D Durrell with D Durrell Life Solutions. Also, I'd like you all to subscribe to D Durrell Life Solutions and also please subscribe to D Durrell The Rebirth. Uh, please support those channels. Today I'm going to focus on a topic that I have not discussed in a while in regards to the Manosphere. You all know that I've been in the Manosphere uh, sector for a while on and off. Uh, I'm now in the pro-black Umar sector and particularly this particular channel itself is just more on mental health and I come and I basically will comment on anything on YouTube relates to mental health the mental health issue that I want to come, come talk about today is the phenomenon of, of what is called red pill rage red pill rage is defined by the average real person in the red community red pill community of an emotional response or a psychological response of understanding the truth as it relates to female um female um, instincts female behavior and the fact that female behavior or what we call the gynocracy are you know, uh, feminism has influenced and taken over the world. And we have an understanding that that particular, those attitudes and beliefs of females are what's considered, um, what's considered feminism or having a female nature itself is innately negative or evil, or it's not necessarily beneficial to black men or men in general. Yes, I know it's a stupid ass. It's a stupid. It's a stupid ideology. Yes, it is. I, I hate to say it. It's dumb, but and it's unfounded. And I've stated my concerns about it. But I have grown to understand that I can no longer criticize people for and debate and yell and curse at people as I've done in the past. I'm only going to utilize my my specialties. My expertise as a therapist and as an as a pro mental health professional to give an assessment from my understanding, being that I have interacted with people like this for a better half of of almost six years. Red pill rage is basically an impulse control issue. It's an anger management issue. It is a perceptual issue of females that is flawed and it produces situation of you constantly being in conflict with females that can intensify into violence and exploitation. I want to talk about the treatment of red pill, of red pill rage. I would basically treat someone who has red pill rage almost the same way I would treat someone that has domestic violence issues, that has anger management issues, that has impulse control, whether it's physical, uh, physical or verbal, because a lot of these guys that um, idolize and utilize this, uh, this, this type of thinking have a history of being upset with women because they either allowed them to take advantage of them or they treated them well and they basically experienced a negative outcome notice no one who has a great relationship with women and that's the, this the, that's the flaw of red pill ideology no one that has a great relationship with females or have a history of having a great relationship with females adhere to this this BS it's only men that had a historically have had ongoing negative relationships with women think that this is a legitimate ideology and that's a problem if red pill ideology was legitimate you should have men who have great relationships with women saying the same and you don't you just don't you don't have men who have bad relationships with women ongoing it's usually men who have failed relationships, failed marriages, child support. A lot of these guys 
even though they won't talk about it. We've had a few sex offenders in there. We had a, we had there's a ton of domestic violence perpetrators in the sector. And there's also people who are in the LGBT the LG the LGBT community that don't want to come out the closet. And you got incels, and then you have guys who just have a difficulty. Not saying they can't get a date, but they just have an ongoing difficulty finding dates or having sex and so on. Most of the people in this sector are lackluster at some aspect of being with women. That's why you have people that are in the dating game, the dating coach game, and the pickup game that are making tons of money out of the inadequacies of people who adhere to red pill ideology. Let's talk about the treatment again. Um, treatment again, I would I would treat them just as I would anyone that has anger management issues, impulse control issues, mood related issues or disorders, which I think a lot of these guys cl <coughs> clinically may have those issues. I would um, institute cognitive behavioral therapy with that in combination of curriculums that institute things such as domestic violence related situations such as um, through the Duluth model for domestic violence or at other different um, um, domestic violence related um, curriculums and I would I would use certain concepts out of those models and institute that into the therapy so it would be an it would be an eclectic approach, but I would primarily use cognitive behavioral strategies, in which I would focus more on the thinking and and, and using cognitive restructuring strategies to help them change flawed perceptions of females, based on a limited amount of females that they've encountered in their life. Because just because one female did something to you ten years ago doesn't mean that the next female that you meet is also going to um, uh, use the same behaviors. And when you speak and when you listen to the language of the manosphere, black manosphere or whatever, you hear them speak in absolutes. They speak in the majority as it relates to women. And they speak in tons of generalities and they use, they try to intellectualize the flaws in their thinking by using research that doesn't say or measure what they think it measures. And that's one of the biggest issues that I've had in the sector when I was there is because I got tired of people misusing psychological terms and theories and misusing research. So tell me what you think as I talked about red pill rage, talk about red pill treatment, how I would undergo it. I think that this is something that uh, people that have red pill rage sh should want to reduce the occurrences of that to a point where they need to be off of social media until they calm down. Because we have seen people in red pill rage before. Red pill rage is unhealthy. Red pill rage can, can contribute to violence to yourself or someone else. So, with that being said, guys, this is D-Durrell, d, Durrell, d Life Solutions. Please tell me what you think. Leave comments in the comment section. Please subscribe and share.